Welcome back to the channel. On today's video we're going to be going for adding the door to our shower unit. We go with the door from Tamador which is a pullback door. Let's see what we get in the box. Each one of these doors is made to order and it's according to the size that you request. So if you've got a wider door or a narrow door, it doesn't really matter. All you do is fill out the form accordingly and you will get the door to suit the space that you need. So this door should fit straight in this opening. So we've now put the frame together. We did trim off a little bit because we did order it just a fraction bigger than we needed just to make sure that if there was any adjustments or anything that was not quite true in the frame that we're using, that I'd be able to take that up with this. Now what we've done is we popped it all together, just literally pushes in and clips in together and it's a case of now just putting it into the frame and sticking it into place. We're going to use Marine Flex again to stick the door into place. Just a little bit of a tip, these nozzles, you can get them from B&Q, they come with a red cap so you can seal off the actual sealant. The good thing about it is that every time we've used these, the sealant hasn't gone off so I can highly recommend these rather than wasting a a tube that you don't manage to use or trying to fight with the nozzle don't have to do any of that with these caps they literally seal off beautifully you just undo the top and it's ready to use straight away i've just made a pencil mark up the side and down this side and across the bottom the plan being that means i now know where i need to put the sealant and know that it won't be visible these pencil lines are just inside where the trim will sit so you won't actually see the pencil marks because they are a bit of a pain to get off with this stuff so i've drilled three holes in the bottom one on each side one in the middle just to enable us to get the water to run back into the pan Door is now in place with marine flexed down either side and across the bottom. I just clamped it, gonna leave it overnight to dry. I'm gonna put the heater in there just to give it a little bit of help to dry out and keep the temperature up. For the next section, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this trim so that I can seal in the joints around the side of the wet room. Literally, this will just poke into the corner here, and just seal it up quite nicely. And there is the wet room, now all sealed up, ready for the taps to go on. And there we have one finished door. 
If you have any questions or comments, please do leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please do hit the like button. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to hear when the next video goes live. See you in the next video.